Let's plant up our shade hanging baskets today. Come on and join me. Hey guys, and welcome back to Horticulture Geek. I'm Ray, and thank you so much for joining me today here in the garden. As I just said, today we're working on some hanging baskets in our shade garden area. And I have three hanging baskets that hang on the fence over there. Um, and I plant them all three the same. They hang in a kind of a row over there off of the fence. Um, and it just is a really good colorful backdrop. And I thought I'd bring you guys along for this planting project today. Let me flip the camera around and I'll show you the baskets and I'll show you what we're working with. Okay, so here's what we're working with today. I've got the three baskets here, and two of these baskets are like chicken wire mesh baskets, and one is just a regular um, metal basket. Um, and I have matching liners in all three. And if you notice, obviously these are semi-permanent liners. Um, they have outdoor fabric on them, um, and then the inside is still the cocoa liner. Um, this is the second year I've used them. Um, they are in the shade area, so that you can see they do have a little bit of uh, greening, a little molding going on, uh, but that will not hurt the plants, and honestly, I don't mind it. It kind of adds to the look of the hanging baskets. It lets you know that these are, are aged and, and well-loved. Um, and now inside each basket, we have our water well. This is from Gardener Supply. Um, and what this does is this makes any hanging basket a self-watering pot. So as you can see here, there is a water reservoir. The top is holes. And so these just set right down into our pot. We'll put soil right on top of them. But the water, when you water these, it will hold water in that reservoir. And the roots can just go straight down and find that water and pull it up for their use. Um, so that really does help to extend the life of your planters um, when your plants, especially on hot summer days, um, they can have access to a little bit of water um, that, that they can get to without you know, their once or twice daily waterings that you would give them normally. So these are a good investment, gardener's supply. All right, and right here, we're keeping it simple with these pots. We're using caladiums and we're using impatience. Um, and I have went over these impatience in our plant haul video, but as you can see here, these are the um, Imara series and I've got the red, the white, and the uh, pinkish color right here. So, and then I also have some fresh potting mix and some biotone. So I will be putting biotone into all three hanging baskets to give these a good boost. Now this is gonna be a very simple arrangement. I'm simply gonna put caladium bulbs in the center and I'm gonna ring the, the planter with the impatience. So now let me just get the camera set up and we'll get right to it. Here we go.
All right, so I've got them all three planted up. Um, they are a little sparse looking now, but you have to remember these caladiums are fixing to bloom huge drifts of leaves. And then the impatience will also get pretty good size. So these are gonna be extremely full baskets in the end. The Biotone Starter Fertilizer will help the roots establish and get going on all of these plants. And then I will be doing weekly fertilizer on these as well, because if you want them to keep blooming, you gotta keep feeding them. So we will be feeding these plants every week as well. All right, so now the last thing for me to do is to water these in really good and get them hung up. So let's go work on that. Alrighty, so here they are. And I'll just show you this area real quick. So I've got some hydrangeas and some holly ferns planted underneath. Here's our Japanese maple in a container. We've done a video about that. Um, and we've got all sorts of hostas and things through here. Just a real pretty area. All right, and so here are our baskets. And now as you can kind of see, I do have drip run to these baskets. And so now that I have them back hanging on the wall, it's just a matter of fishing the tube up through the basket and keep putting it in there. And that way the baskets will stay nice and watered. So these should be pretty colorful baskets in the end with the three different colors of impatience all mixed together. And with the caladium leaves coming through, so we'll have the white leaves and the red leaves and the pink caladium leaves all coming up. So hopefully it'll be very pleasing to the eye and very full in the end. Well guys, that's gonna do it for me today here in the Horticulture Geek Garden. I hope you've enjoyed me showing you these um, shade hanging baskets that I'm putting together and the materials I use to put them together to try to ensure success. Um, hopefully this has shown you something or inspired you to get out in your own garden and try something. Whether it's a full shade container or a full sun container, um, the possibilities are limitless only by your imagination and what you can get your hands on at the plant store. Um, and as you can see by the planters that I'm putting together today, um, they don't have to be elaborate, fancy containers. I'm using caladium bulbs and impatience. Super simple, readily available at any big box store or garden center. These are not items that are hard to get a hold of. Um, now it just requires a little bit of patience to um, let those things grow and bulk up, which they will do. Um, those impatience were coming out of six plant trays, uh, the little, little six plant trays. So I mean, you know, they're like little bitty plants right now, but by the end of the summer, each impatient has the potential to be, you know, a foot across just a big bush full of flowers. Um, impatience really do get that big and bulky. So these baskets, if they thrive and survive, which hopefully they will, if I remember to take care of them, they will do that and those will be just full, beautiful containers. So again, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. I would love for you to do that and ask any questions or comments down below and I would love to try my best at answering those. Again, thank you so much for joining me in the garden today. I hope you enjoyed it. But until next time, guys, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.